What's up everyone, FX Home just released a huge update of HitFilm. I'm going to walk you through the biggest of these features today and I'm also going to give you my thoughts on it. So let's dive into it. The first change for HitFilm version 12 is a huge performance update. The biggest change is threaded rendering on all systems and GPU decoding on Windows. Threaded rendering means that the processor and the graphics card of your computer can communicate better to utilize any extra cores on multi-threaded processors and, in general, make sure that everything is working at peak performance. If you're on PC running Windows and you have an Intel or Nvidia GPU, you will notice even better performance because now HitFilm has GPU decoding on these cards as well. This is by far the biggest, most important feature of the new HitFilm and it's something you can really easily notice just by opening up old timelines and scrubbing through them. I created this testing project with 4K files and a whole bunch of effects and it all ran pretty smoothly as you can see. From my testing, export times were the exact same of the previous version of HitFilm with this 30 second timeline taking 2 minutes and 32 seconds to render on each. So no difference there, but the speed of scrubbing through the timeline and general playback is much faster. I've done a ton of testing and for general scrubbing speeds and moving around in the timeline, I found that HitFilm is now an average of two and a half times faster than before. To be honest, this is a huge game changer for HitFilm. I've already edited full YouTube videos in the new HitFilm using a beta version before release that HitFilm kindly gave me a copy of. No joke, this is a really huge feature and it just makes it way smoother to edit videos. It's not insanely lightning fast, but as you can see, the 4K files and effects that I've applied here would put a strain on just about any program. Of course, this is just my testing with my computer, my clips and effects, but if you download the new update and you try it out for yourself, you'll be able to see that it is indeed a real world difference. But enough with all of the performance updates. Let's talk about some more new features of this update. Text in the editor. Another thing that has been a long time coming. In previous versions of HitFilm, you had to use the text tool in a composite shot. Last year, they also added the text effect, which was good, especially for subtitling, but it wasn't quite so easy or intuitive to implement, and it was a pro feature that you had to pay for. Now they've added the text tool in the editor, meaning that you can have proper text boxes and text layers in the editing timeline. When you select the text tool and you type your text in the viewer, a new text layer will be formed in the editing timeline in the lowest blank video layer. You can select this text layer and adjust it just like you would in a composite shot. New user interface. You've probably noticed this already just from watching footage of me using the new hit film, but the whole program has a completely new look. They've also removed all the tabs up top and they've completely removed the project screen. You can access your project settings at any time at file, project settings. It's a bit more tedious to get to the export screen as well, but thankfully they added a back button here to get back to editing from the export screen. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this new user interface, but at the end of the day, that's all it is and it doesn't change that much. Animation effects. HitFilm has also added a whole ton of behaviors in the effects panel under the animation folder. There are a ton of really useful ones and there are even text effects. Here are some of my favorite text animation effects. You can even combine them like this. Color labels. You can now add color labels to any clip in the editing or compositing timelines. And as you can see, there are a ton of colors to choose from. What's even better is that you can add default color labels to different types of media. This can be done in the program settings. This is really handy if you want to easily automatically differentiate types of media. Composite shot templates. You can create templates out of composite shots and publish certain properties to make them available in the editor sequence. This one's a little bit more complicated, so stick with me. Just right click a property in a composite shot and select publish. And now you can edit that property in the editor without having to go back to the composite shot. So that's the publishing of properties. You can also right click any composite shot with publish properties in the media panel and select save as to save it as a template anywhere on your PC. Once you've done that, you'll have that composite shot as a file on your PC. Composite shots that you've exported can be installed using import composite shot, just like normal. But if that composite shot that you imported also had a published property, then HitFilm will copy it into its install templates library. 
Install templates can then be imported into any project using import installed template. As you can see, you'll be able to install any custom composite shots that you've created, plus a whole bunch which HitFilm has preloaded with the software. These are really useful for creating titles. If you have a YouTube channel, for example, you can make a custom lower third for your channel and import it into the project of every video you make when using these templates. Anyway, that's all the big important stuff for the new HitFilm update. You can check out all the new features and updates on the official HitFilm page. You can also use the link in the description and the code SHINY10 at checkout if you still want to get 10% off your order. This is a huge step in the right direction for HitFilm. It shows that they're definitely listening to what the community has to say. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe for more content just like this. I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny.